Hey everyone. Thanks for coming on short notice. Um, sure. Yeah, have you, uh, Jeff out the paper, have you identified a landing site at the Cape to bring the stage back to? with an NBC News. Elon, uh, was anything cited or recoverable, or was there just nothing left that you could see when, when you tried to look for the stage? Uh, um, the, the uh, uh, Mike, sure. Um, so we've, we've recovered most of the interest stage. Yeah. And also, how many more attempts will you be able to have to get to that uh, target by the end of the year? Sure. Um, the, the, so, um, and we weren't trying very hard to get to a precise location. Um, so I think that's uh, you know, pretty good. I think with, you know, we could certainly tighten it up massively um, so, yeah. Um, but uh, hi, Dan Leone with Space News. Sort of along the same lines, how much longer is it appropriate or even helpful to continue doing the soft landing tests on the water? At some point, you won't be able to learn exactly what you need to know to do a recovery mm -hmm. doing that. Uh, probably. Um, yeah, we, we'll only be doing the the um, the the. Marcia Smith, SpacePolicyOnline.com. How many times do you expect to reuse each of these first stages, and what is your business model for how many launches you need per year in order to make reusability cost effective? Um, the the um, the the so our pricing this uh, our pricing right now. Um, so if we're able to reuse it and refly it with with minimal. Uh, um, 50-50 um, chance of working. Did you personally think it was going to work on the very first try? Well, I uh, um, the, the um, so it was about that was about it, and um, and that's where we had um, an issue. Just b basically, the rocket spun spun up too much. Um, something we didn't expect was that uh, that even small changes, or, or even small. Um, uh, so the the, the uh, uh, for, for that for this flight we just had we we doubled the, the thrust. Uh, yeah, so it, it I, I, I I was um, and you know I gave it sort of a 40 50 percent chance of working. I mean, with reusing these these rockets, fitting into your larger body of work, I'm thinking Tesla here and the benefits there. Sure. Um, well, there's no question uh, if um, um, or the uh, stages will, will just kind of come back and crash and, you know, there's a bunch of rocket stages at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. We have some reporters who are queued up on the phone. If you could give your name uh, and affiliation prior to asking your question. Thank you, sir. Our first question comes from the line of, I believe it's Mr. Keith King, and he's from CBS News. Please proceed. Great. Thank you very much. Can you hear me all right? Uh, sure. Great. It's Peter King at CBS Radio News. Uh, just a, a quick yes-no question and then uh, one that uh, might take a little longer. You know for sure, I just want to make sure I've got it straight, do you know for sure that it's soft-landed vertically? And uh, the second question is, how long do you anticipate it'll take you to turn around a spent first stage to be ready to fly again? Um, yeah, we, we know because uh, um, um, we've got uh, the telemetry to show that. So and it's, it's, there's multiple sources of telemetry um, um, and uh, GPS, uh, multiple uh, uh, GPS units on it. Um, in terms of it being ready to, for for reflight, uh, the if if, if, if um, um, however for uh, stage landing on uh, land landing back on land near the launch site the same day, so it's a huge difference. 
Um, and that's why we're. Um, um, Next question from the phone, please. Thank you, sir. Our next question also happens to be a Mr. Bill Harwood from CBS News. Please go ahead, sir. Yes, thank you. Um, Mr. Musk, how far downrange uh, was the loft soft landing zone on this flight? And you mentioned a minute ago, uh, you know, taking a little time to get customers comfortable with uh, flying a rocket again that's already been flown. I can agree that might be a real hurdle to face, maybe more than the technical side. Can you talk a little bit about what you'll have to do to demonstrate to them that this is, in fact, a reliable way to fly? Thanks. Right, absolutely. I think what we'll have to do is, is uh, um, 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 and then I should probably transition to uh, the, the other sort of uh, news item, uh, which is, um, you know, not, not, not as, well, not um, you know, the uh, you know essentially what, what we feel is that, um, that that this 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 is uh, that the uh, um, and it, it just, and really every every satellite you can imagine it that this um, um, so. This this really doesn't seem right to us. Um, every every uh, avenue to try to figure out you know why is this the case. Um, the the ULA rockets are um, uh, and a Russian main engine made made in Russia. Um, the the person who's Sort of heads up Russian space activities is um, Dmitry Rogozin. Uh, um, um, so it's, it seems pretty strange, like you know, uh, and it would be so. On the surface of it, it appears that there's. Um, we think this deserves uh, to have a spotlight on it, and uh, you know, let, let's you know, let, let the sort of sunshine on this. And if everything's fine, then I guess that's great. But. Uh, um, Questions. Thank you. Um, Continuing on, we now. Oh, sorry. Please go ahead. <laughs> um, is this protest happening through JAO? Is that uh, where you're filing at least first? And is it only being filed by SpaceX? Um, um, th there may be others that that join, uh, but uh, thus currently it's it's just SpaceX, and. Um, it's just that that just doesn't doesn't make sense, and and I, I want something I want to be, um, and w w you know we've heard statements about well there's this like certification process like um, okay well, this is a paperwork exercise. Well, we've done uh, technically we've done uh, nine Falcon Nine flights, um, so. All four of them have completed uh, their, their mission. Uh, yeah, they, they obviously worked. Um, uh, Aaron Meadow with Defense News. Um, have you informed the Air Force of uh, the fact that you're filing the suit? And are you at all concerned that this could damage your relationship with the service? Um, and I mean, first of all, I should say, like, it's not as though we're battling the whole Air Force. Um, I think uh, um, our uh, concern really relates to the Air Force. Well, um, I, I guess the, the for, for 
for SpaceX. Um, Boeing and Lockheed, that's before they merged their launch business into uh, United Launch Alliance. Um, um, that seems like, it's a bit like pulling up the drawbridge, you know, after, you know, it's not, not quite right. Um, um, yeah. Um, uh, Whitney Bright, CBS, uh, change gears a little bit. Um, and talk, if you could talk a little bit about the potential Tesla plant. Oh, geez. Okay. Hi, Dan Leone with Space News again. Is it going to be mostly Falcon 9? Is it going to be mostly Falcon Heavy? And then on a side note, ULA has what SpaceX calls subsidies in the form of support services contracts. Um, yeah, uh, so it would be, in terms of Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy, we think probably uh, it's something like two-thirds Falcon 9, one-third Falcon Heavy. $60 million, um, um, and uh, we, we um, to the 70s and 80s, even before if you count the RL-10. So um, and um, yeah, and, and, oh, and it, th I mean, there's some of it's just like elementary things. Like if you look at the Atlas V, it uses three types of propellant. Hi, Yang Yang with Bloomberg Television. My question for you is, in announcing this suit, you had at your question um, that you had just posed to the Air Force was, why not wait a few months before awarding ULA the contract? Well, the Air Force awarded ULA the contract a few months ago, back in December, so why are you waiting to file this suit now? Um, so uh, w we actually only learned about the, uh, the, 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 30, the, the big sole source award uh, in March. And secondly, another question is, I just want to know if you come any closer to picking a state. Sure. So it was, it was, we've really just had about a month of, of awareness. Um, I don't think that's an accident. And trying to see, you know, is, is, is this real? Is, is, is Oh, launch pad. So, uh, well, and our primary launch lo location is, uh, is Florida with uh, Cape Canaveral uh, at, uh, on the Cape Canaveral side. Um, yeah, it does, it's, so I think that's, that's uh, you know, we for, for the foreseeable future, we expect uh, uh, most of our launch activity to go out of Cape Canaveral. Hi, no, Dana Hughes, ABC News. Um, Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. Thanks, everyone. Sure, Alan. What's up? Are you asking uh, the uh, Air Force to kind of hold up and wait until you're able to get formal certified? Yeah, I think the right thing to do would be to cancel the. the oh, sorry. All right. Thank you.